Good evening and salutations, my BNB fans, Ridge and Taylor. Let's just put it this way: I feel like if the roles reverse, and I mean, Grant, you know, Ridge is already blowing the stack, you know, because of Deacon. He thinks that Deacon wants to sit there and try to get back together with Brooke, but the way that Ridge and Taylor were acting in the scene. In, in their scenes together, I felt like if it would have been Brooke and Deacon doing near the exact same thing, he would have lost his mind. There was just something that was just so inappropriate between the fact that they were holding hands, you know, she still talked about how she still loved him, you know, they were hugging in this intimate way. I'm like, bro, so let me get this straight. You had an argument. With your wife. And uh, you felt it was a good idea to pretty much complain about it with your ex-wife. Okay. Okay. Um, th that's not the route that I probably would have took, but bro, you do you. Um, and that's pretty much what they do. They just sit there and talk about the old times. And, you know, he give her compliments. Out the con you know, pretty much just worship her. At this point, I feel like with this show, they have a way of, of giving these people these compliments to the point where it just becomes a little kind of overbearing just to hear. You know, I, I see it a lot with Paris. Like, everyone is just, just like, Paris is this and she did that and she's so great and yada, yada, yada. And now with Taylor, oh, Taylor is so great. She travels around the world. She does this. She does that. And you know what? She also missed a lot of time with her family. And no one's talking about that. We're just going to just brush all over that. Oh, no, she was out there helping people. That stuff was fine. I mean, missing, a, you know, your your grandchild's birth, <laughs> your daughter's wedding, and all the other stuff that I'm not going to get into. No, that's fine, because she was helping other people. But, um, yeah, so, you know, he was like this showering her with compliments and... <sighs> I felt like in, in some ways, like, Taylor couldn't help but to take a shot in, you know, as far as Brooke. Because said, she said something along the lines of, you know, with Brooke, you know, every time you're with Brooke, or when you're with Brooke, you know, it's always the highs and the lows, you know, it's, it's always something with her. And I'm like, yeah, that's, that's, that's called marriage. I, I, don't, I don't understand where, where you're going at. I, I feel like you just... Try to throw a shot at her because, well, you know, you're in love with him and you don't like her. But I was just like, it's it's marriage. That's that's the, the highs and lows. What, what, what do you think marriage is? I don't... Okay, sure. Now you got, you got um, Steffi and Thomas talking about um, Brooke and Taylor again. And once again, Steffi just can't help but the bad mouth Brooke. And it's funny too because she was like, you know, I would sit there, I would sit there and say something to her, but I feel like, you know, it'll only make things worse from my dad's point of view. Like, you know, like he wouldn't be happy if, you know, Steffi gave her a piece of her mind. But I feel like if she's gonna do it anyway because after watching it just for a little bit, I can see this woman just like giving no apps, you know, just being like, yo, listen, I think what you're doing is wrong, yada, 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 just straight up confronting her. Um, well, you know, she talks about Brooke and how Brooke is doing this to Ridge and, you know, it's not fair and it's not right and what Hope is doing isn't right and isn't fair and... <sighs> the only thing that I can agree about that whole scenario is something that, you know, one of my subscribers said, is that... Listen, you want to have a relationship with him, that's fine. You want to sit there and do it in his house, his home, his kingdom, you know. Yeah, that, that could be a little problematic, you know. You tell me you guys can't just hang out at the park or, dare I say, move out and, and kind of have a relationship with him. And this way he doesn't have to sit there and see his presence because ultimately that's what it really comes down to, you know. To some extent, anyway, is the fact that he's going over there, 
And he's just walking in the house like he owns the place. And I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I get it. You did some knocking and stuff like that. But, bro, you don't know what you could have walked into. I mean, you could have walked into... Well, we all know what they could have walked into. But my point is, you don't do that. And the fact that he did it and was just so chill about it, like, hey, Brooke, I knocked him door twice, so I just walk on in and Rich is like, see, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Are you serious? Like, so I get where Rich is coming from. Um, now, of course, you got, and towards the end of that, towards the end of, um, Towards the end of Taylor and Ridge's scene, one second. Towards the end of um, Taylor and Ridge's scene, you know, you see them hugging. You see Steffi just kind of like looking, and she turns back, and it's like this epiphany comes up. You can just see it. You can see the look on her face, and this is why I was there saying something along the lines of pa um, parent chopping them. You know, and of course she's gonna sit there and say what well, she did because she thought her heart was in the right place and. Blah, 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 blah. Truth of the matter is, your dad is a grown-ass man. She's a grown-ass woman. Let them deal with whatever you're going to deal with. Um, but she's not going to do that because, one, she wants to see her dad happy. And, two, she doesn't like Brooke. So, you know, there you go. Um, and that's pretty much all um, Steffi and, and Thomas was sitting there talking about. Also, you know, Steffi did sit there and say, you know, when is, you know... Douglas gonna sit there and see, you know, see his grandmother, or whatever. And, you know, Thomas was like, you know, I gotta sit there and check with Hope first, make sure our schedule is good. And you know, Steffi was like, oh, you don't need her permission to sit there and have, you know, have your son see her grandmother. And I'm like, uh, he, he, he didn't say that. That's that's called consideration. You know, it's sort of the same thing that Taylor was sitting there saying, and I don't understand this. I really don't understand this. I, I think it's well, mostly have to do with the fact that well. I wasn't watching this show until recently again. Um, I don't understand why Steffi has so much of an issue with the way, you know, their arrangement is with Thomas and Hope, as far as Douglas is concerned. I get it, that's that's your that's your nephew and that's your brother, but that's between Thomas and Hope. You know? Like the fact that she said that and the fact that Taylor said that was just, I, for me, I feel like it was just out of line. But then again, I can be a little bit wrong, because um, I don't really know the history of the show, but that's just my first impression of it. Deacon, Hope, and Brooke. So, the usual, they talk about Rich, how difficult it is. The strain on their marriage pretty much between Brooke and Ridge. You know, um, you know, Deacon being all like, oh, well, you know, this is what happens when Ridge doesn't get his way and yada, yada, yada. And, you know, on, again, on the other side of town, you know, you got Ridge and saying, oh, they're just not there feeling sorry for him. And I don't, I don't care where he lives. Yeah, he was a, you know, he was a drunk and now he's living in a bar. But, you know, people feel sorry for him. I'm like, hi, right, Ridge. You know. The sad thing is that I feel like maybe if I was watching the show a little bit longer, I might have a better understanding of where Ridge is coming from. But I guess it's kind of a good and a bad thing because the way that this show, or the way they're sent to portraying it, you can clearly see that Doc, um, Deacon is the underdog. Um, and so, you know, again, you know, you got Brooke, Hope, and Ridge. I mean, Brooke, Hope, and Deacon sent there talking about Ridge and you know, the strain on their marriage and everything like that. Then they talk about Taylor. And, you know, Brooke, you know, one of the things, you know, a couple of, the, well, one of the things that she was not the same was that she still feels that, you know, Taylor is in love with, with Reg. And, um, you know, she's pretty much just like, yes, and she can come, she can hang out, she can visit her grandchildren and her, her kids or whatever, but, you know, don't disrespect my marriage. Now, of course, I do kind of find that funny because, well, you know, Brooke and her history as far as talking about disrespecting marriages is kind of laughable. But, um, you know, she, she lays it straight down like, yo, listen, she tries something, it's going to be issues, it's going to be problems. So I'm just kind of waiting for that to happen. Because it will. I think that's about it for the most part. You know, I actually really do, like I, I've 
been saying for a while. I actually really do enjoy doing these reviews. Um, especially the, the B&B reviews. Um, because even though there wasn't really that much stuff that happened in this episode, there was still some interesting stuff that did happen. I'm just kind of looking at this thing like, man, I can't, I can't wait for it to actually start to get really good. Like, stuff that actually happened. Um... Yeah, it's not a question. I know it's going to be kind of a dumb question, but the, does things really actually happen, though? Like, does things actually go down? Like, um, like nearly on a general hospital level, if you actually watch that show, do, does stuff like that happen on the show? Or is it just, like, more, more drama than, like, suspense stuff? Um, so I'm, I'm curious. I felt like the only thing that happened... Somewhat that was like that. It was when Sally kidnapped it. Um, when she kidnapped Flo, and was, you know, keeping her captive for whatever for a little bit. I felt like that was probably the most stuff that I've seen that happened. But it's always, I always do feel like with all these soap operas, you know, like the golden age for them was. I don't know. Maybe this is from my perspective, like the. Early, late 90s to the early 2000s. Um, I feel like that was like just the real golden age of, of soap operas and stuff like that. Anyway, with that being said, I think that's about it. If I forgot anything, please write it down in the comment section below. I want to thank you for watching. Be safe. And I will see you in the next video.